Today we are going to be reading Butterflies by Josie Strummer. I thought this would be perfect because we have been talking about insects in our animal classifications and so I thought this would just be perfect to kind of connect in with insects. So butterflies, our strategy focus is what do you know about butterflies? As you read the story, use what you learn to think of questions that you can answer. They may weigh less than an ounce, but there are more than 20,000 different kinds. They are among the most beautiful creatures on earth. What are they? Butterflies. A butterfly's body. Oh, I see a heading. We don't often think of butterflies as bugs, but they are insects just like ants and beetles. Like other insects, butterflies have three pairs of legs. Their bodies have three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They also have a pair of antenna on their heads. So remember when it says three pairs of legs, pairs means two. So three twice. So three plus three, six. Six legs. And I love how they included the labels right here. Great nonfiction text feature to help us look at the parts of the butterfly. Butterflies are different from other insects in two important ways. First, butterflies have a long feeding tube. They use it like a long straw to suck up nectar from flowers. Many other insects also have feeding tubes, but the butterfly's tube is tightly coiled when not in use. If you happen to watch a butterfly feeding on a flower, you will see it uncoil this tube to drink the nectar. So uncoil means to kind of like unroll. So they roll their tongue up and they roll it out to eat. Second, butterfly has colored scales on their wings and bodies. If you are ever lucky enough to hold a butterfly, use care and try not to touch the thousands of overlapping scales that cover its wings. It will not be able to fly if it uses too many scales. A butterfly's life cycle. Butterflies go through amazing changes during their lives. At certain times, you may not even recognize them as butterflies. There are four stages in a butterfly's life cycle. It begins as an egg. From that egg hatches a caterpillar, also known as a larva. The caterpillar eats and grows and sheds its skin several times. After a while, the caterpillar hatches itself to a leaf or branch. There it turns into a chrysalis. So I love this diagram that they've included with labels so you can see how it goes from the egg to the caterpillar larva to the chrysalis to the adult. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar goes through great changes. Finally, it emerges from the chrysalis as an adult butterfly. There are thousands of different kinds of butterflies. Some may change from an egg to an adult in a few weeks. Others may stay in the chrysalis stage for months, but all butterflies go through the same four stages. How butterflies survive. Many birds and other creatures like to feed on butterflies. So that means butterflies are prey. That means other animals eat them. That's why butterflies have a variety of tricks to help them survive. Most butterflies can escape from their enemies by flying away. Others have eye spots on their backs of their wings to make them look like a larger animal, such as an owl or a cat. This scares away some of the animals that might want to eat them. Some butterflies have another trick. They rest with their wings folded. If another animal gets too close, they open their wings and display a dazzling burst of color. This confuses their enemies and helps the butterflies get away. Other butterflies look exactly like a leaf or have markings that look like the bark of a tree. These butterflies blend in so well with their surroundings that other animals cannot see them. Remember, this is called camouflage, when an animal kind of blends into the background so the predators can't eat on them. Many butterflies use colors as warnings to their enemies. While still caterpillars, these butterflies feed on plants that are poisonous to other creatures. The poison stays in their bodies of some of these caterpillars even when they become butterflies. The bright colors of these butterflies warn other creatures that they should not eat them. The butterfly's role in nature. Butterflies also play an important part in nature. One of their most important jobs is to help plant and produce seeds. Because butterflies live on the nectar in flowers, their bodies collect the flower's pollen as they feed. This pollen is needed by other flowers to produce seeds. By going from flower to flower, butterflies help spread the pollen to plants to the plants that need it. Butterflies are the most important source of food for other animals. Many birds depend on butterflies and caterpillars for food. Other creatures such as skunks, mice, toads, and even monkeys and lizards also eat butterflies and caterpillars. So the birds and the skunks and the mice are a predator while the butterflies and caterpillars are the prey, what they eat. Where butterflies live. Butterflies are found all over the world. They live in grasslands, woods, deserts, mountains, and rainforests. So they live in different habitats that we've talked about. 
Some butterflies hibernate during the winter, while others spend their cycle, or excuse me, spend their winter as a chrysalis. Still, others like the monarchs migrate from one area of the world to another. They fly over 2,000 miles to spend winter in a warm spot. Whether they live, wherever they live, butterflies tend to like warm, dry areas. On the next nice summer day, keep an eye out for butterflies. You might be amazed at what you find. All right, everyone, I'm going to put the questions in the description box below for you to check your understanding. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and I will see you guys later. 